So I've decided to put some of the uh, last issues of Liberating Masturbation online here for you to purchase. So this is the feminist classic. This is the book that launched Betty's career. And if you can see, I have the box they were in. These were in Betty's back bedroom. And see, it says 1974 original print. So this is all from the original print. And you can tell because the copyright notice, you can see, says 121 Madison Avenue. So that was her personal address. And it's just so much beautiful art. How to view your vulva. It's really a step-by-step -step guide on how to connect to your orgasm. The Vitruvian Woman, one of my favorites. How to stimulate your body, how to receive pleasure, how to be sex positive. And it has all the vulva sketches in the middle. So it also is a great educational tool. The yoga poses, people love these. It is kind of like drinking in a, a whole bunch of Betty Dots and I love the guides on how to use vibrators. And then this is one of my favorite pictures of Betty. Where is it? There we go. This is what she looked like in the period when she was writing this book in San Francisco. And I think the importance of this book is the word clitoris and masturbation fall out of the culture in the 17th century with the notion of the democratic rights of man. And if you go on Google, you can track when words come back in the culture and clitoris and masturbation come back in 1974 with the release of this self-published book. Betty personally mailed 100,000 copies of this. So it will never be acknowledged, but that was her contribution to womankind. It's a great book. It's beautiful. It's never been opened. There are 40 copies. I know they're expensive, but I'm raising funds for the foundation to put out some free sex ed material. So I thought, why not share this book? And I have 18 copies of another book she did in the 80s, Self Love and Orgasm. And this is again, not opened. And there's some beautiful art in here. And really she defines the message much more broadly my romantic image of sex, my erotic image of love, going public, consciousness raising, becoming cunt positive, the body sex groups, looking at my addictions, masturbation as meditation. And the art in here is just spectacular. I mean, just as a coffee table book. Her writing is so personal and so beautiful. It also has the vulva sketches again, because they're fantastic. And then there's women in the circle. This I love, this was gonna be her logo, the, the goddess with the Hitachi. It's a beautiful book. Um, and again, these, these monies are gonna go to creating language independent sex ed materials that we're gonna put out in the next six to months to a year. So I decided why not raise some money and share. So thank you for donating to a worthy cause and I hope you enjoy a piece of feminist history.